Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy Six. Welcome back to another video. We're continuing the Arc Server Setup series, and today we'll be installing MySQL. This video is brought to you by Game Servers Hub. You can join their Discord at discord.gg/gsh. You can see their Discord on screen, and it'll also be linked in the description down below. There will be a video coming out on ASM on how to fully set up ASM and what every setting does. It's just taking a little while to get that one out, as I have a lot of plugins on the back burner working right now. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and head over to this link, which will be down in the description below, and download the Windows x86 32-bit MSI installer. Click no thanks to start my download. Go ahead and open the file. Click yes to the admin prompt. Click yes to the second admin prompt. Click custom. MySQL server. MySQL server. MySQL server 8.0. And MySQL server 8.0.33 times 64. Applications. MySQL workbench. MySQL workbench 8.0. MySQL workbench 8.0.33. Then MySQL connectors, connectors C++, connectors C++ 8.0, and get the 64-bit version of that as well. Click next. You won't have that error. I just have that error because this is the second time I had to record this video as the first one got corrupted. So press execute. Then allow them to all install. Click next, next. Now you can, I would either choose server computer or de uh, dedicated computer, depending on how much RAM you have. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose dedicated computer. I'm gonna leave the port as 3306. I'm gonna click next. Use legacy authentication method, next. Then we're gonna set our root password. And personally, I'm going to go ahead and make two users. One is going to be GSH PVE. And then I'm going to also create GSH PVP. So that way, when I'm working inside config files, I can have a PVP and PVE username. Just so I know what config file I'm in by looking at it. You can just use root. You don't have to make a user. Then click next. Now you, you can leave this as MySQL 80 if you want. It's just the Windows server name. Just so I know what it is, I'm going to name it GSH MySQL server. Click next. Click next and execute. Click finish, next, and finish again. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this as I had to set this up once already, like I said. So I'm just gonna delete connection. So you're going to go ahead and the first thing you're actually going to do is go to services and find the one that you just installed. And go ahead and stop it. And then you're going to navigate to your C drive and go into program data. If you can't see this, go view, show, hidden items. Then go into MySQL, MySQL 8.0, and 
and open my and I, it's best if you do have Notepad++ for this, but if you don't, you can use a Notepad as well. At the end, go ahead and enter SSL equals zero. Save that. It's going to tell you it needs to be in admin mode. Just restart in admin mode and then save. Go ahead and exit out of that. Now restart the service. So just go ahead and start it. Then in the workbench, we're going to go ahead and press this plus button. Connection name, we're just going to name it GSH servers. Username, we're going to keep for root. We're going to go ahead and hit SSL and then set this to no. Click test, enter your root password. As you can see, we have successfully connected. Click OK. OK. Go into the database. You'll be on this page. Go ahead and come down here and click on schemas. And in here, we're going to click create a new schema. And we're going to name it GSH PVE. Apply. Apply. Finish. Then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Click up here to add another one. And we're going to do GSH PVP. You can name these whatever you want. I'm just naming them this for Game Servers Hub and then PVE and PVP. Apply. Apply. Finish. And now our database is basically set up. So a very helpful tool as well, and I'll link it down below, is HiDSQL. We're going to download the installer. Go ahead and open it. Install for only me. I agree. Next, 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 install. And we're going to launch it. I'm going to delete off my desktop because I don't actually want a shortcut. So now we're going to go ahead and press new. I'm going to keep my host name as 127.0.0.1 as this is basically the same as local host. Then I'm going to enter my password. And click save and then open. And as you can see, we are now connected to the SQL server. So that is basically how you set up the SQL server. One thing that's helpful in MySQL is to, or in Heidi SQL, is to go to Tools, Preferences, and under General, you can switch the theme to whatever you want. If you press the Preview window here, you can actually see what it sets it to. I usually do Windows 10 uh, Dark. Click apply. Then under grid formatting, go ahead and uncheck the local number formatting, or basically you'll have an issue with Steam IDs having commas in them. So we're going to go ahead and restart Hide SQL. And now it's in dark mode, and we can just go ahead and open, and we have our database. All right, guys, that's basically how you set up a MySQL server for Arc API. The next video will actually be how to install the API to a server as well as configuring the permissions plugin and connecting it to the database that we just made. So if you want to make sure that the database is working, go ahead and watch that video. It'll be linked down below. If you need any help, you can join my Discord, leave a comment down below, join the GSH Discord. All those are great places to get support. Anyways, guys, take it easy. Peace.